Episode two just really took us over the top. So we got a lot of fanfare, a lot of um, a lot of positive support on that one. I would I would say um, I, I'm somewhat of a celebrity now. Um, Got to be honest, I kind of like it. But I, look, I'm here for you. I'm not going to let it get to my head. I, I just want to provide valuable information while we're all under self quarantine. So what, what I want to do today is I want to share a recipe that I put together a few weeks ago, just messing around in the kitchen because I have nothing else to do. Um, it's a recipe called shredded chicken vegetable barley soup. Let that sink in for a minute here. Okay, so um, what we're going to do, what I want you to do I want you to get your pencils, I want you to get some paper, maybe some erasers if you, if you screw up. Um, get all that together, take, we're going to take some detailed notes, I'm going to walk you step by step through the process, and we're going to make some soup. We'll be back. Put your chicken breasts in a crock pot. So I'm going to put some olive oil on it. Then what I like to do is when after I put the chicken in the crock pot, I put some uh, sea salt on there. I prefer Himalayan pink sea salt. And then this is the secret to my, to, this is called uh, Trader Joe's Everything But the Bagel Sesame. I put this <laughs> on everything. <laughs> then I'm gonna turn it on, turn it on low. It should cook for about eight hours on low. So when you get up in the morning, you're not gonna believe what happens here. It's gonna pull apart. And that's going to be the basis of our shredded chicken soup. The chicken is all cooked, and I'm going to show you the magic here with the with the shred. What I want to do is I want to take two forks, like so. I'm just going to go in here. I don't know if you can see this. I'm just going to pull it apart now, and shred it. So you want to keep doing this till you get it till you get it nice and shredded, and then that's going to be the starting point for our for our soup. We want to take the shredded chicken we we did earlier, and we just want to put that in the pot. So look at that beautiful shredded chicken! Isn't that isn't that wonderful? We want to take our broth. I'm using vegetable and chicken. We're just going to put that in here. Now we're going to put our canned tomatoes in here. They're diced tomatoes, different seasonings. Careful. We're just winging it here. That's what's fun about this. We're just starting with something and we're seeing what happens. Okay, now we got some frozen vegetables. We're going to go with our Italian style vegetables. Put that in here. Bag of frozen corn. So I've got some barley. I'm going to add that as well. And of course, my favorite in, uh, spice, whatever you want to call it. I put this <laughs> on everything. <laughs> and I mean everything. <laughs> We've got all the ingredients in place. What I'm going to do now is put the lid on. Put it close to high. Um, we'll get that boiling, then we'll talk the next steps. <clears throat> okay, well, this is, uh, as you can see now, this is actually boiling, and um, you want to let that simmer probably for a couple hours. Um, but it's up to you. If you're really hungry, you can eat sooner, or if you want to really let it go, because all the flavors start blending together. It's like magic. They they work together and they create a very, a very harmonious soup. 
<laughs> well, welcome back. I um, just went out for a walk. Ah, uh, nice out, very nice out. I think it's time we're gonna, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna check on the soup. I'm ready for a bowl of soup, so I'm gonna take the lid off here. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Look at how everything just kind of, and it's pretty hearty too. Look at how everything just blended together in harmony. It's out of this, so I'm gonna serve it up. Okay, so I've, I've plated my soup into a nice, a nice bowl here. Um, I like to get some rye bread, a couple pieces of buttered rye bread, grass-fed butter, by the way, that's all I use. Um, and of course, you know about this. Um, I'm gonna say it anyways, I put this on everything. <laughs> You're welcome.